Good morning. Today is September 17, 2022. And this is one of those games that is boring game. Basically perfect game, but boring. Uh, it does have some nice structure over here, as you can see. That's you know, like that's nice structure over there. And you notice the kind of theme over there. This is black and this is white. So light versus dark, so to speak. So that's the theme over here. But the game is placed per perfectly by both sides, except until the end, where I actually lost this pawn over here, and that's where the source of my problem. So I was losing the game. But otherwise, it's boring. So anyway, I only have one puzzle for you today, and it's uh, made in three, I believe. Uh, could be made in four, whatever. We'll, we'll get to it. Anyway, uh, let's get to the puzzle right here. Right here. This is made in three. And I want you to think about it and see what will you do over here. And here's another one. After moving the king away over here, black resign. Why? All right, let's get to the game. Now, the beginning over here is pretty standard. King Indian attack basically. That's non standard. Usually, knight goes here, queen goes here. The pawn would go here only. So, so that one's not standard. Another non standard thing is that the king usually castled over here. And that one. So, that one's non standard. Let's move. So I was doing a pawn attack here, over there, and well, it looks strong, but as long as there are pawns over here and the knight and the bishop protecting, it's not too dangerous. I still need to connect the rook over here. Until I do that, <coughs> that's not a problem. So evaluation is basically drawish. Next move. And let me just lock the position over there. And that locks the position. So this is where it draws. It's 0 0.05, you know, that's, that's nothing. And I'm trying to make things exciting, basically. A uh, little draw his position would be if it takes the pawn from with this pawn rather than with that pawn, and then it, the position would be completely locked. And I'm gonna have to basically start thinking on this side. Now, if that happens, what actually has an advantage? Because you know, you, uh, the king can just put over here, and the rook will just move there and attack there. Uh, Rook here uh, is actually not too good. Also, knights versus bishop over here. Knight excels in close position, so so had the pawn takes it with that one, I probably would have been happy. But next move. And that opens up the gates over here also. So there are two two ways over there to go. And we'll see which one is which. Next move. That's a careless move on my part. It's not a losing move, but that's careless. I really should have just 
connect the group together before I do that. So that's a mistake. Yeah, that's really a premature attack over here. And you may want to think about it for a while. What I should do. Computer basically just do it like that. So the evaluation says I have a small advantage basically because of this one. But just an advantage. It's really not a big deal. And that's it. It's like <clears throat> no big deal at all. That's a really nice position, you know. And it highlights the fact that black has dark squares and white has light squares. So light and dark. Interesting, but no big deal. Uh, evolution is 0 0.2, so it's nothing to be excited about and it's just really boring game I really hate to have this kind of games really I don't have enough patience for it I think chess should be fun so so you know I just show this to you because it has interesting structure but as far as gameplay is concerned it's not fun next move and I just lost a pawn over there. Now the evaluation is still zero, but really that's not, I mean, I don't think that's fair. I don't know how, you know, how the evaluation is going to be. Like maybe I can just do the queen over there just check here and check there and perpetual check that that would have been a draw but like I said I don't like that kind of game so next move and I'll start losing over here attacking the bishop Now, this is very interesting because you look at the position, the king is right there, right at the front line. Like, what, what's he trying to do? He's, push the, he's trying to push the king forward or something. But then again, my king's not that far either. So, uh, kind of interesting over there, yeah? Over there. And over here, this one says made in three. Made in three, evaluation, see? So, can you take off a mate over here yeah all right so here's the mate over there take that one take that one that's mate basically hemp by his own pawns over there <laughs> really interesting over there yeah see see that's mate i've been reading this book uh polgar laszlo polgar I hope I say his name right, but he got his book, 5,000 just position, and I'm still on diagram 490 or something. It's like really hard to do, and it's made in two. So, so I move this one, attack the queen basically, move this one, made in six, move this way here, made in five, and check, and I move the king over here and it says made in four this is where black design uh, I mean totally design over here because there's a threat over there so what black needs to do is black needs to protect this pawn over here there are three ways over there three candidates move over there over there but if you notice, they all hang the queen. So if you, anytime the queen goes there, just takes it, takes it, takes it. Here's an interesting one. What if the queen goes there? Bishop will take it. 
print exit emit. So, so that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.